Good afternoon, my friends, and welcome back to some more Ori and the Blind Forest. I hope you're having a great week. We're going to start out by just spending our ability point, given that we're here. What are we going to look at? Map markers makes most pickup show on the map. Life pickups will restore twice as much life. Always handy. Most pickups will be automatically absorbed. Yet, yeah, you know what? That's actually pretty handy. Let's do that. Uh, allows the Spirit Flame to damage two targets at once. That's a good one to work towards. I, I think you want at least sort of up to here fairly early in the game, just to make the combat a lot easier. The Ultra Light Burst, I don't think is terribly important. The uh, Ultra Stomp, I don't think is terribly important. So, yeah, you probably want to be going um, over to there. And then you can fill out the rest of the other tracks first probably um for now though let's go for yeah let's let's go for it let's go for it oh and immediately we're just gonna launch ourselves into a spike oh that's weird i could have sworn that is the direction we're supposed to be going now um wait a minute do we need to get up there somehow? Ah, <laughs> much more sensible, yes. Hmm. Bonk, and... Blow this one up. I think it's worth having a, a brief discussion about the, the difficulty of this game and the difficulty that we're playing on, right? Because... If any of you have seen my Jedi um, Survivor series, you'll know we played through that whole game on um, Jedi Master. Okay. Oh, no. So why do we want to play that game on Jedi Master, but we want to play this game on normal mode? Like, what's the logic there? And for me... It's very much around, like, the intended feel of the game, like, the intended vibe of the game, right? Jedi Survivor is intended to be a Dark Souls-like experience, yeah. And this is, of course, setting aside any debate about, like, game difficulty and whether playing on story mode is really playing the game or whatever. That's, that's a really boring debate. But understanding the intention of how the game is supposed to make you feel, or at least your own interpretation of that, your own interpretation of how you are choosing to extract fun from the game, I think is very important. And this game, for me at least, is far more about the movement and the flow that you're able to achieve than it is a Dark Souls, a Souls-like experience. And that sets it apart from a game like Hollow Knight, which is more like a Souls-like experience. So playing Hollow Knight on a harder difficulty, to me, somewhat makes sense. Playing this on a harder difficulty, I think you'd increase the challenge in the sense that... Well, now you die a lot easier. But I don't think you're really significantly changing... That set us back quite a long way. <laughs> I was waxing lyrical too much. So yeah, playing Hollow Knight, which is sort of intended as a Souls-like experience, the game has a very different vibe to the way that I choose to extract enjoyment out of this game, which is not as a Souls-like, for a start, it doesn't have a lot of the trappings of a Souls-like, right? And in terms of making this game more difficult, okay, it'll make you die a lot easier, but if most of the challenge in this game is a platforming challenge, then really the benefit of turning up the difficulty is fairly marginal, in my opinion.
Okay, so we already did that one there. Okay, we got back to where we want to be fairly swiftly. No, we want to go down that way. We need to go down that way. <clears throat> so for all my monologuing previously there, I mean, like, I try and... If I think that I have an interesting point to make that would make a good short, I try and kind of record it up and then we'll edit it together in a short. The problem is... <laughs> When you're coming up with things on the fly, and unlike most TikToks where you put the gameplay footage in later, uh, uh, I am actually recording the gameplay footage live at the same time, of course. So, it's kind of an interesting problem in terms of... Oh, this is interesting. As soon as we push that down, it's going to, like... We're going to get, like... destroyed by that laser, aren't we? So do we actually need to open up that? Oh, I don't know. I don't have any thing either. Ah, no! this a breakable wall? No. Wow, what a waste of energy. Oh, wait, that's a spirit door. It's an energy door, not a thing anyway. Ah. Right, so actually we need to we need to build our energy up to get the energy door. How are we going to do that? Maybe I wasn't supposed to go that way yet anyway. Maybe I'm supposed to be going up here. And that's a, that's an area, that's a side area. I can't, I can't remember. Oh! Yep, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> right, okay, no. This is the way we're supposed to be going. Not the other way at all. Take a save there. No, oh, yep, yeah, that's gonna hurt. There we go. Pretty much there. Ah, oh, do you know what? I I could not imagine playing this game on um, one life mode. That really does not sound like fun. <laughs> Okay, so we'll take the uh, Spirit Flame can do two targets at once, and then we can pretty much just... Uh, I think we just move, uh, move up this way now. Because now that we've got the uh, double jump, we can now get the dash next, which will further help our moving, movement. If you had the dash, that would actually make that section pretty trivial. Shortcut unlocked. Oh, 
Oh no! He's hurt himself. save it here so I have to do it pretty much in one move there we go <laughs> kindness and hope to his heart thank you Now the Ginzu tree is what will get us the bash move. And that is going to unlock a lot of things for us. Yeah, you do not want to fall off this. You will be going for quite a while. Climbing back up. Uh, yep, we are going the right way still. Ah, oh, shoot, I died. Yeah, less hasty, maybe. Uh, nope, that's the wrong way. Oh, even handier spot. Recharge all of our stuff. Oh, hang on a minute. Wait, 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 wait. We can just teleport. We're just going to go straight to the Ginzu tree. Now, in the original, original version of this game, once you finished the Ginzu tree, and indeed all of the dungeons, you couldn't return to them. But in this version of the game, you can. And that will help us 100% this a lot, lot easier. Like, in the original version of the game, 100%ing it was really quite challenging. Um, because you, only, you had one opportunity. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this, as well as the occasional boss fight, this game also is a big fan of doing, as a boss fight, a boss fight platforming section, effectively. Or rather, a difficult platforming section instead of a boss fight. And I believe the finale of the game, actually, even, is a platforming section, not a boss fight. Ah, you got me. No. 
Aha, there is something that we've missed on the... Oh, no, 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 That's just where our soul link is. Right, that's just a moving spike. We can't actually get rid of him. Oh, no! I fell into the thing! It is super-duper easy to, um... So easy to accidentally uh, end up on the spikes. Okay. Oh, I thought I could get onto that. <laughs> Do not want. Come on. Okay. You can't make a soul link on an unstable platform, so these are all. Oh, there we go. Save that there. Uh, where's that gonna go? Okay. We can still get down here, right? Aha! Kind of a shortcut, but sort of not really. Okay, you kind of have to know where that one's going in advance, don't you? <laughs> Can you imagine doing that on the on the one life mode? Man. You'd have to be Yeah, there's no place to stand. You just kind of have to know exactly where it's going. Definitely putting a soul link down there. Uh, right. Push it from this side. Boss fight.
Okay. Ah. Oh no. There we go. That's the easier way of doing it. <laughs> you got to do it sort of before you get too fast. I think we need four to get in there, so those are the last two. Hmm. Ah, oh, bonk bonk. Here is where we're going to get the bash. Or dash. It is called bash. Okay. So now we press Y near lanterns, enemy projectiles, or enemies, or you know all kinds of different things, and that is going to reset our jump. And now our movement set is complete, and it it changes the whole dynamic of the game. This because now we are able to get almost anywhere in the map. He says, as he immediately misses the ability to dash there. Ah, didn't quite reach it. But this tutorial area as well is all about teaching you how this is supposed to be employed, right? Because you've, you've effectively got to solve a whole bunch of puzzles relating to using enemy projectiles to navigate yourself around, but also ferrying enemy projectiles to break various bits and pieces and do various things. Ah, missed it. Uh, what goes through there? There we go. Energy cell, lovely. So now, as we continue to climb the tree... Immediate, immediate fail. 
No, I need to I need to save my second jump. There we go. That's more like it. So hopefully you can start to see what I mean when I say that the platforming in this game is just, it flows so nicely. It's just so, it's such a joyful experience. It's genuinely such a, I find it such a joyful game to play. I really do. So looks like we're gearing up for another boss fight in here. Oh, there it goes. I don't know what happened there. Uh, my, my controllers, I had a bit of a mind blank. Okay, come on. tree is all corrupted. Corruption on both sides. So we've got a left path, we've got a right path. You can do them in either order. Oops. Um, and then we have the boss fight platforming section, right? Okay, here we go. Uh, right path first? It doesn't. It does not matter. The right path, if I recall correctly, is certainly harder than the left path is. Because um, you've got to do this sort of stuff where you are ferrying. Yeah, and immediately I failed it. So what you need to do is you need to ferry a thing... Uh, up and it will go to the left and then up and then it will go to the right and then it's going to go over here and you're going to need to go over here and then you need to kill this thing because you're then going to want to go make it go up and to the left and then hit that as well so was that close enough that was not close enough Okay. Uh, that's a bit questionable. Nope, hit the side. That should be okay. Thankfully, every time it goes through one of these gates, it does straighten itself up. But now I hit the side of it again. It's a little bit uh, tricky. The accuracy that's required is a touch tricky. Like, I mean, it's not like... It doesn't have to be accurate, accurate, obviously. It is, it is fairly reasonable, but... Okay, then this one is actually kind of a bit of a tough one to hit, because we need to go here and then bash that. Great! And that was it. That's, that's all that's required. That's the right-hand path. It's a tricky one, though. I, I always find it a little bit tricky to get all the timings correct. The left-hand path, if I recall, is slightly easier. Anyway. 
Air dash. Oh no, it requires two ability points. Well, never mind then. Am I trying to get up there? Oh, I need to oh, I need to ferry something over to here. Fine. Yeah, the frog ain't gonna do it. So I think it's gotta be the spider. The spider shoots straight, so the spider isn't affected by gravity. Oh, excellent. Got it first time. That's cool. And so now, final boss fight. Well, no, not final boss fight. Boss fight for the level, let's call it. So the water's come in, and we're now going to have to race, race the waters. Too greedy with that one. Nope, and we're straight back in. So the first in the original version of this game, there was no way to return to this. Um, in the original version of this game, there was no way to return to this. So you had to do all of this if you wanted to 100% the game. You had to do all of this in one perfect run. We have the advantage that we can actually come back here to get this, and we're not going to be hassled about it. But we're going to do our best to try and get them here. Oh! No. And every time, you go back to the start. Ah, oh, totally missed at that time. Ah, oh, well that time I ended up literally pointing towards the water, so... get through that one. In the interests of time, I think we're not going to try and go the uh, the OG 100% route, let's say, because I do actually need to finish this episode reasonably soon, and I don't want to leave you guys hanging on a cliffhanger, right? Oh no! 
I thought I thought I could be clever and jump in time with his um, jump in time with his shot, but that's just not what happened there at all. Stuck, got stuck. by themselves. And there we go. We are out. Oof. It's a great section. It's a great section. It's. I think it's one of the hardest sections in the game. That. Uh, I think the other end of segment runs... Yeah, I think the other end of segment runs are easier than that one. That might actually be the hardest segment in the game, I'm not sure. Certainly it's the one that took me the longest the first time I played. Such a good shot, that. And, uh, and now that we have restored the waters with the Ginzo tree, you will notice the waters are now perfect and blue and not terrible anymore. Nibble's waters are clear. Okay, the element of winds is next, resting deep within the forlorn ruins inside the Misty Woods. Now, the Misty Woods is a weird, weird level, and if you are looking to 100% the game, the Misty Woods changes as you go through it. The map changes as you go through it. So that means you can't backtrack. So that means if you miss any of your pickups during the Misty Woods, you are going to have to play through the entire Misty Woods again if you want to get that 100% achievement. So it would be somewhat beneficial, potentially, for us to have a look at getting things like most pickups are on the map now before we go and get the dash. There we go. Okay, that's going to wrap us up for today's episode, though. I hope you are enjoying this playthrough of Ori in the Blind Forest. If you are at the end of episode three now, 
It's got to be worth a subscribe, right? We play all sorts of games like this, mostly puzzle games, puzzle games and Metroidvanias. That's what I like to play. If you have a Metroidvania recommendation, leave it in the comments below. I will see you guys soon. Have a great rest of the day. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.